What's going on everyone, Havoc here. Welcome back to another video about Legion Go updates. So this time we have word from Lenovo's official website as far as updates go, instead of relying on backdoor channels and custom scripts from online users. This is really refreshing to see that a company is this transparent and laying out their future plans. Hopefully they continue to do so and continue to take in community feedback and then keep improving the device further. All right, let's get started. So a few days ago, Ben Myers from Lenovo on the Legion gaming community gave us an update on what Lenovo had planned as far as things that the R&D team is working on. They're planning to release a new version of BIOS with fixes and updates within the next two weeks. What exactly are these updates? Well, let's see what he said about BIOS version 28. Starting off, they are planning on adding stamp and SDT thermal mode switches. The SDT is going to be the default and allow the APU power to auto increase when temps are under a specified limit where Stamp will restrict the APU power to the system settings. Since the device is going to be running cooler, this should also allow a slight boost in performance as well. They're adding in an option to switch the memory frequency between 6400 MHz and 7500 MHz to give you a boost there. We're also getting charge speed optimization, which allows us to select the charging speed under high loads. Now, this could definitely help with battery degradation, but it's also going to allow us to utilize fast charging instead of the super slow charging that we currently have when under heavy loads. Also getting an enhanced compatibility of the USB-C to allow for more high power devices. We're also officially getting six gigs of VRAM option and auto VRAM is still not available and they won't be including that in this BIOS version, but it is something that they're working on. We're getting support for fan table tuning interface. Now, it seems that they aren't giving us the option to tinker with the fan settings just yet, but laying down the groundwork for future updates in December. There's also support for SPPT or FPPT tuning, but I don't really know how this will work for the device. So if you do, you can definitely educate me on this. We're getting performance issues that are being fixed, but no idea what these are. Uh, custom VRAM settings not taking effect, so a fix for that. And then including the SD card reader fixes from BIOS version 26. And lastly, other fixes. Again, no idea what these fixes are, but it's apparently something that Lenovo was aware about that the community was having issues with. So time jump to today and we have another update from Ben. First, now is allowing us to test some of these features out via participating in the beta testing for version 28. Now you don't have to sign up for anything and you can read their little disclaimer about how it, it's a BIOS version that is in beta testing and it's a voluntary participation and blah blah blah. But it would be helpful if you actually would report any bugs you may experience directly to Lenovo in the post where they publish this information. Okay, so to download this, just click the link that I'm going to put in the description below. But as always, before you do anything, make sure you create a store point just in case. So first, make sure you're plugged in while this is taking place. Then we're going to download the BIOS file. And again, link is going to be in the description below. Unzip it by right clicking, then extract, then double click the .exe file and follow along. If after installing, if it's in portrait mode, then you have the rotation lock enabled and all you have to do is disable and then let the screen go into landscape mode and enable it again. If you don't have that issue, once you boot it up, then don't worry about it. And in any case, if you want to revert to the previous BIOS, if you're not happy with the beta version, there are instructions here. I'll put a picture and then you can just pause the video and follow along if necessary. Lastly, we're getting a new graphics driver, which is available now. Again, this is a beta version, but it's directly from Lenovo. So I'll put the link in the description below for this as well. To get started, make sure your device is plugged in again, then download the file, click extract, and then open up the O2 AMD GFX folder. After you do that, right click the GFX install 
and then click run as admin. You're going to see a command prompt open up and then the screen is going to go blank and come back. Once that's done, the command prompt is going to be gone and then you can confirm that you have the latest version by going to AMD Adrenaline and on the top left it's going to say that you have the 11.7 version. Unfortunately, we still don't have any word on the dead zone issues for the upcoming update, but they did say that they are aware and currently working on it. So let's wait and see when we get that along with auto VRM options. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Have a out.